Welcome back to Flagship. I'm here with the most beautiful sister of mine. I've known you for so long. I've seen her since she was so young. She's still so beautiful. So fat, so fat. What do you mean you're fat? You were never fat. <laughs> I am. I no, was. You're not. Yeah. Sawadee ka. Sawadee ka. This is Yaya Ying ka. I don't understand uh, why girls always think they're fat. Because I was fat. You I was weren't. that fat. You were not that fat. Okay, we're gonna end up arguing for 20 minutes about <laughs> yeah, yeah, you being fat or not fat. Well, I'm so proud of you. That's what I want to say first. Thank you. To see how far you've grown and how much you've grown in this in this industry, and I follow you, your Instagram and just your career. So how how does it feel to be where you are now? Feels like just just getting started for something big. Yeah. So it's kind of like. Um, you're, it's like a whole new horizon, yes. a, new, a whole new chapter for you. Yes, yeah, so a very, a very fresh start for me. Now you're no stranger to this industry because you know your mom is very talented. Yes, and you, my uncle. And your uncle. Yeah. Can you tell me how was it growing up with them? You know, when you have someone surrounding you by by arts, and you learn from them, and you try to to be that good, just as they can make it so it's like just, just just learn from them that's it your mom has been able to travel with you yeah how does that make you feel in cons yes it's um it's like our dreams come true we've been a lot of problems stuff like that and when the moment that I step into cons and I was like yeah I'm here with the most the most beautiful woman in the world the most biggest heart in the world and I so proud of myself and proud of my family and everything. Um, it's interesting because maybe because I've, I've, I've known you since you were young and I know your mom too. So when I see, uh, when I'm following you on Instagram and I see pictures of you and your mom, I feel that you, you, you are so proud of this moment and sharing it with your mom, yes. not just for yourself. Yes, um, because I was, she was like a part of mine. She's like almost everything in my life. So it's my first time, my first step. She should, she should be there with me. I think um, now at your growth and your stage, you embody the art. I think when, um, is it part of how you grew up seeing your uncle and your mom? Mm -hmm. Because a lot of, uh, a lot of people who enter the industry, they only see the, the glamour. Mm -hmm. But I think you being a daughter of an artist, you see all the different parts, the bad parts and the good parts. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I, I learned from that. Sometimes mm -hmm. I feel like the bad part is the best uh, lesson for my life. Because when you're doing the good, it's just good. But when you're down, when you're feeling something that's more pressure, it's really drive me for something really big for my, for my whole life. Okay, let's talk about how you gradually, um, you know, uh, bridge from singing to mm -hmm. acting. Now, at this stage in your life, would you choose one over the other? For myself, I think I always love singing. It's my first start from this career and I would love to go back and do it again and again, but acting is something really new for me and I really want to know that how many characters I can be. And it's totally second thing that I really love right now. But still, I still love singing the most. Um, I see that you're still very close to your girlfriends. Uh, yeah, really. <laughs> still close. More than 10 years. Yeah. yeah. Um, I see that you guys still have that same um, you, you haven't changed. Yes, yes. We, we love each other for like more than like 15 years. Can maybe? you mention all of them? Who are they uh, again? Katie, Katria English, Jennifer, Polita Non, Wawa, Shenadels, and Belle Shenadels. I noticed that you still um, are on stage together every now and then. Yes, yes, still. So now let's talk about the acting. Um, has it been difficult for you to choose the roles that you are um, that you've, you've decided to pick? Let me say, actually, the role picked me. 
Really? I feel like sometimes, you know, when someone's really want to to get you in the scenes or in the movie or in a, some sort of soap opera, it's like they see something in you. I, I always thought that the roles picked me, so I have to respect of you know every editors, every executive producer, and everything. So it's like every time when I holding my my script and everything, it's like it's already it's already here. It's picked me already. Now you just do it. For um, Only God Forgives, did you have to go through a process? Did they just pick you or did you have to go through a casting process for this? I, I went to the casting process, which is not really in this movie, in another movie. And um, Nicholas saw that tape and he really loved the tape. And so he called, he called me to, to casting for Only God Forgives. The moment that, um, after you went to the casting, but the moment you found out that, you, uh, that he picked you, how did you feel? I feel like, really? I feel like this is real. I still feel like this is not real until I met him in Cannes and I walked with him in Cannes like, okay, this is real. Okay, you were able to watch the movie in Cannes, mm -hmm. am I correct? What, what, how did you feel watching the whole entire movie? Because, you know, it's different when you're acting, mm -hmm. but then um, because you don't see the different parts that you're not in, mm -hmm. but when you see the whole entire uh, movie coming together, what was your feeling after the movie? When I see myself on the screen, I was like, wow, that's, that's me, and that's Ryan Gosling, <laughs> okay? <laughs> and the movie is all about goods and bad, and all about hopes, and all about revenge. And it's something really into our country, when you believe in God, believes in karma and stuff like that. So I really into this movie, and I really loved it, and I hope that Thais would love it too. Only God forgives. I'd like you to meet my mother. I want us to pretend that we're a couple. Now what's, what's up next for you in the future? Do you feel you're going to continue on this path? Sure. If, they, if there's any chance, I would give anything to, to be there. For any acting jobs, any acting assignments? Yes. Um, I, um, I mean, I was reading your Instagram, you were just recently in, the, in Hollywood again, in LA, yes. for another casting. Yes. I don't think people realize, especially in the Thai industry, the whole casting process. It doesn't get handed over to you mm -hmm. on the table. You actually have to go through a, a whole process of it. Yes. Can you explain that? Um, what do you mean, actually? It actually means you need to cast mm -hmm. before they pick you. Because mm -hmm. they normally do that, not in Thai, but... You know, in out of this country, yes, everyone you have to go to for casting. It's normal. No it's matter, normal. Yeah. No matter how much work you've had, yeah. how much experience you have, how much you're famous and everything. It's like every time when I walk into the casting, it's like a new lesson, a new classroom. I got a new classmate. I got a new lesson. It's like you walk into, you know, another class and then you can learn from it. I love it, and it's free too. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good way to put it out. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for being on the show with me mm -hmm. on Flagship because uh, it's, like I said, I'm so proud of you, so I want to give you a huge thank giant you. hug. Oh, I love you. I love you too. Mm -hmm. So this is Ya Ya Ying on Flagship exclusive. Uh, we support you, I support you, and please go support her movie as well, which is Only God Forgives, and we support your career. So I'm going to watch you. you. Thank you very much. So we're going for a break. We'll be back on Flagship. After the break, the gang gets down and gritty in gossip of the Academy Awards. I think the taste, the, ta the taste of the Oscar is it's varied every year, so the standards of it is changing all no, the time. No, I think it's true. Plus, students face their last days of film school 
and take the big step into the film industry at the Entertainment Media Exhibition. So stay tuned! Yeah.